It was an accident, sir. I was not aware he was still coupled to the train. He's lying, sir. He knew I was still coupled. Silence! Accidentally or intentionally, Gordon, you started off with no all-clear signal from me or the guard. I won't have such carelessness on my railway. Yes, sir. You should always wait for the guard to blow his whistle before setting off, even if you are late. You're lucky no passengers were left behind, Gordon. Yes, sir. And you could have damaged yourself and Thomas horribly going at that speed. That's too fast for you pulling all that weight. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Whether you knew Thomas was coupled to the train or not, I'm not going to spend all night pointing fingers. But I never want to see such careless nonsense like that from you no less, Gordon, ever again. Yes, sir. I understand you're all tired from the extra workload. I apologize for that. I am currently figuring out a solution to all this. I ask all you engines to work with me on this just a little longer. That is all. Good night. Good, Good night, night, sir. Yeah, so, um, we all now learned that Gordon's an awful liar. Thomas, I really didn't know you were still... You didn't feel any weight from me holding you back at all. Well, what can I say? I guess I really am that strong. Oh my god, you're a liar! Why do you lie, Gordon? I am not lying. You literally said, ha ha, come on, little Thomas, keep up as you pulled out. I, I did not say that. Mm, you did, you, you absolutely did. Where's your sauce? You, you fat cow! <laughs> oh no, that was just uncalled for. Gordon, you really could have damaged something pushing yourself like that. Mm, we all make sacrifices, Edward. I don't even know why you started without a signal from the guard anyway. See, now, if it was me pulling the express, I'd wait for all the passengers No, to... no, no, see, that's the thing, little James. That's the thing all of you fail to realize. Waiting. It's not my problem if you're taking too long to board my train or taking too long to uncouple yourself. My only job is to get my coaches to the next station on time. The express does not wait. The express does not stop. The sooner you all realize that, the closer you'll be to my level. But, but what if it does stop? Uh, it's not going to. But, but what if Thomas, it... I'm sorry for dragging you helplessly to Willsworth. Now, let's all let bygones be bygones and forget this little incident ever happened and get some shut eye. I... Honestly, that's the best thing you said all night. Good night, everybody. Good night. <sighs> hmm. Good night. Gordon, we might want to slow down just a bit. The steam pressure's a bit high right now. Oh, nonsense, Charlie. I've still got a bit of steam left in me. Going fast has never stopped me all before. Right, all right, just, just be careful, Gordon. Will do, Charlie. <gasps> Wait a minute. We're about to pass Henry. <laughs> Gordon, don't, don't even think about it. Let's just keep going. I'm going to give Henry the biggest surprise he's ever seen. No, no you're not. Gordon, slow down. Gordon, whoa, hey, Gordon, slow down. Oh, day 15. I'm here. I'm cold. I'm bored. I'm an idiot. Why did I think that was a good idea? Oh, I wish something would happen. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Ha! <laughs> Gordy! Oh, no! Boop, boop! Henry! <laughs> oh, what was that? <sighs> oh, what's happened to me? Suddenly, I feel so weak. You imbecile! You burst your safety valve! What? <laughs> How did that happen, Charlie? You tell me, Gordon. I told you to slow down just a bit, but no, you just had to show off. Well, what does that mean for me? It means you're stuck, Gordon. You can't pull the train anymore. Well, 
We, we might have enough to reach the next station. Now, Gordon, if you continue any further, you're going to burst your boiler and die. Do you want to die, Gordon? No, I'm too famous to die. Oh, we were going so nicely, too. Well, what do we do? I'm moving you to the siding, and I'm going to phone Sir Top of Matt to tell him what happened. Oh, you don't. You don't have to do that. Why, Gordon? Is it because he told you not to go too fast? Did you disobey him? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Let's get you out of the way. Edward? Oh, dear. Yes, sir? There's been an incident. Take me to the mainline tunnel. Are you able to pull the express? Oh, my. Yes, sir. I'll try, sir. That's a good engine. Let's hurry now. Yes, sir. So, you come here often? Occasionally. What about you? Yeah, I come here quite often, actually. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Well, I hate to interrupt you two's riveting conversation, but Sir Topper Matt's on his way, and he's bringing Edward. Puh! That's no use. Edward can't pull the express. Well, he can do it faster than you can now, so it's better than nothing. What? Thank you, Henry. We're here! Oh, goody. <clears throat> well, Gordon, a week ago I recall telling you not to pull the express at dangerous speeds. I thought it was just if I was pulling Thomas, sir. Don't be funny with me, Gordon. You could have damaged yourself horribly if Charlie didn't stop the train when he did. You should consider yourself very lucky. But I haven't got all day to lecture my top link express engine on railway safety he should well already know. These people all have places to be. All clear, Edward. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop, Edward! Hmm. I told you so. <clears throat> I, I mean, it was worth a try, sir. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Sir? Yes, Edward? Why not let Henry try? Huh? Hmm. Not a bad idea, Edward. It depends. <clears throat> Henry? Yes, sir. As you can see, we're in a very unfortunate situation at the moment. Yes, sir. I have a proposal for you. If you help get these people home, I might be generous enough to lift your restrictions staying in this tunnel and invite you to come back to work. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. I could do that, sir. <laughs> That's a good engine. Charlie, get Henry steamed up. Right, sir. Oh! are so stiff. Have a run to ease your joints and find a turntable. Thank you, Henry. Yes, sir. All right, Henry, he's counting on you. Don't disappoint him again. Don't worry, Charlie. I won't. I know you won't. Hmm. Ah, there he is. <coughs> all right, Henry. Edward, it's all on you two now. Let's get these people home. Yes, sir. Ready? Go! <laughs> Come on! Push on, Edward! <laughs> We've done it! We've done it! You've done it! <laughs> That's it, Henry! We've got them! Hmm. Wait a minute, what about me? Oh, the indignity. Well done, Henry! Keep on puffing! Well done! <laughs> oh, my hat! Oh, no, 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 no! Why, you give that back, you savage! <laughs> <laughs> well done, you two! Well done, Henry! Thank you, Henry! <clears throat> Well, I may be a hatless hat right now, but you definitely proved yourself a worthy engine once again, Henry. Thank you, sir. After this, I want you and Edward to go collect Gordon and take him back to the sheds. And tomorrow, you'll start work once again. Welcome back, Henry. Thank you, sir. Good job, Henry. Oh. The Express doesn't stop, huh? I must say, Gordon, that is an all-new level of ironic. 
You told him, Edward? I might have said something. Oh, oh don't be so sensitive. Look, let's be real here for a minute. We've both been absolute idiots, Gordon. But being walled in that tunnel for two weeks made me realize that once you understand that you're the one in the wrong, it takes time to redeem yourself. But there's really no other way to go than up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I suppose you're right, Henry. I'm sorry I teased you. That's all right, Gordon. I must admit, you two did really well with the Express. Oh, certainly. But we're nowhere near as good as Sir Topham Hatt's Top Link Express engine. Right. Did you see us straining? <laughs> we barely had it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sir Topham Hatt definitely needs his Express engine back. So let's get you home, Big Blue. <laughs> Thanks, you two. <laughs>